Hello everybody and welcome back to Nova Aetas. This time we will be restarting our kingdom, hopefully at Aldeburg here, uh, making war with the Aegonic Empire, Aegonic Order, whatever. There's a trade convoy right there, but they're not going to attack me, even though they are fairly strong, to be honest. Uh, trade convoy guards are not anything just to scoff at. Um, I'm not thinking their castles are too too reinforced, so they may make a decent start. Aldeburg would make an amazing start if we can take this right here. Um, hopefully, yes, it's ladders. Yeah, and I upgraded all of my men beforehand, so no need to worry about that. I mean, we should be able to assault by morning. Hopefully. Oh, yes, this day. Oh my gosh. We will lead my soldiers. Charge. But I want the council to follow me. Artillery to hold. Archers to follow me. And I will control archers. Because, uh... I want my council to follow me, but I want archers to be under command. Okay. This should go okay. Ah, shit. It's got this bullcrap going on. So it, like bottlenecks our soldiers before they can even get to the bottleneck. Gosh dang it. Rofflin, get out of the way! Rofflin! Okay. Finally, we t took freaking long enough just to get to the ladder. Damn it. Oh man, my archery skills are so bad. Look at this! Oh, it's so bad. I don't even know how I'm gonna get started with archery. Oh my gosh. They're so bad. Uh, we've already killed 11. We've only lost one. There's only 32 of them left, and that's total. So, if we can not lose a ton. Ooh, I almost shot my droid guard. I need to not do that. These guys are getting kind of loud. They need to chill. I mean, I understand that it's exciting and all, but this is a very thin ladder, and we need to get a move on. Got it? Got it. I really should have went first. I mean... I swear, if you push me off this damn ladder... Papal Swordsman, I will beat the shit out of you. I will... <laughs> I will climb up the bottom side of this ladder and stab your feet. Come on, I want to get in on this! There's only 14 of them left, let me up! Oh, I'm not even going to get to kill any of them. Damn. Well, this will have been an efficient first conquer. Especially if we don't really lose many people. I think we've only lost three or four. And that is like nothing. Mercenary Landschnech. So that's like a... What is what is that exactly? Okay, there's just these to the left. And that's it. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to get to kill anyone. That's the last guy. That's it. Oh my gosh, we lost Rafflin at the end there. We've only lost four men. We won that uh, 10 to 1, by, like uh, losses wise. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. And now, hopefully, we have freaking dirty water. When did I buy dirty water? Damn it. Let me get rid of these stamp slaves. Uh, maybe we don't want to get rid of the slaves. I don't know. Uh, is this helmet good? Nah, not that great. Is the sword good? Nowhere near better than my Vagir sword. Uh, what about the shield? Is there just, it's a decent shield. It's agonic. I like my my horsey my horsey shield though. Arming cap. Cute. So cute. <laughs> we made our kingdom, my friends. We have taken it once more. We have taken Aldeburg. Do you wish to get? Who do you wish to give it to? I wish to have all Alde Aldeburg to myself. As you wish, sire. You will be the new lord of Aldeburg. Aldeburg has fallen to your troops, and now you have full control over the town. You have you may station troops here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Also, you should select now whether you will hold this town for yourself or give it to a faithful vassal. I don't really... I'm not able to do that, so... Uh, you now possess land in your name without being tied to any kingdom. This makes you a monarch in your own right, with your court temporarily, lo temporarily located at Aldeburg. However, the other king kings in Calradia will at first consider you a threat, for if any upstart warlord can grab a throne, then their own legitimacy is called into question. 
Uh, your first step should be to appoint a chancellor from among your companions to, uh, to handle the affairs of the state. Different companions have different capabilities. You will, you may appoint new members of the council from from time to time. Uh, you may change the location of your court by speaking to the chancellor. Okay, who do we want to be our chancellor? I could make it a prominent citizen, which would have more of the locals have a say, right? Because they'd be the, the chancellor. Um, do I want to do that? I think we go with Quinius. I don't... Does Quinius do much? Damn it. I don't remember which one of my companions does more for me, so I'm not going to choose a companion yet. We're going to do a citizen. Uh, it can be found at your co court in Aldeburg. You can... Cons uh, you should consult periodically to avoid the ac accumulation of unsolved resolute... Ugh, man, I can't freaking read today. Screw it. Uh, s please, sire, choose how you would like to be known. What do we want to be this time? Do we want to be a king, a, a tsar, a khan, sultan, prince, and pope? Uh, I don't know how to say that one, honestly. Archduke, Nordic king, doge, or grandmaster. I think this time we want to be a grandmaster. Why not? Um, uh, the prefix kingdom will be, kingdom of will be added automatically, or sultanate of will be added automatically. Okay, do we still want to be the deep wood? Do we want to take our father's our father's uh, place? I think so. Kingdom of the deep wood. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep with that. I mean, we followed the like the religious thing too. We got a Swadian pikeman halberdier landschlich. The realm needs a color to distinguish it from the others. Please choose one. Um. Give me a preview. Green, I guess. We need to go in and change the color automatic, uh, like ourselves though, to uh, an actual better green, because that's like a nasty green that like almost matches with this. Uh, I think it's camp. Take an action. It's not rename your kingdom. Is that part of it? No. What does this keep popping up for? It's Odd. I guess you can't select from anything but these. Damn. Kingdom of Kingdom of the Deepwood. Oh, so you can keep clicking it and you can keep adding kingdom to your name. Kingdom of Kingdom of Kingdom of the Deepwood. Okay, so I gotta fix this. The Deepwood. And then we will be green. Okay, that is correct. Kingdom of the Deepwood. Town management. Oh, I finally have town management. This is beautiful. Recruitable zero. Growth negative 7%. Shit. Uh, relative uniformity 25%. That's real bad. We have 78,000 in our treasury. Income from town, or for the town, 78,000. Population, 8,000. What is this? Oh, you can actually. Oh, unlocks deep wood mounted sergeant. Uh. Demolition refund. Oh. Because they cost a lot to build, huh? Construction. Huge city. Uh, provides town upgrade requirements. A quarter million florins. Oh my gosh. Noble stables. Grain exchange. Double stone walls. Uh. Wow. Damn. There's some intense stuff. Gravel roads, large castle, monastery, school, coaching house, religious statue, uh, income and growth increase, grain pits. I guess that's what these do. Oh, yeah, town upgrade, income increase. Do we want to go ahead and build this? A grain exchange gives us plus three income. Uh, we need growth for honestly. First, we need growth. Um, this one's a small amount of income. It's not worth much, though. This one's plus 1% one growth. Coaching house, 27,000, though. This one's actually really good for the price. Time 15 days for a grain pit. Uh, let's look at recruitment. Sweet. Look at this. And this is where you properly choose, like, what you want to train. Oh, this is awesome. Deepwood mounted sergeant. <laughs> Holy shit, they're expensive. 
They're three thousand seven hundred apiece. Details. Oh my gosh, this is so in depth. I'm so happy. Growth factors. Uh, I'm unaccountable apparently. Minus two craftsmen. Okay, so we need more crafts. Our tax level is too high, maybe. Uh, the town has another belief. Okay, so we need to change the town to our belief. Uh, we need craftsmen here, so I'm going to have to start a company here. Even if it's not favorable for me, I have to start a company here. Uh, there's farms, taverns, and squ uh, there's squalor we need to take care of. That's the total... Oh, that's the growth factor. So we need to take care of the damn squabble. Uh, there's a hun negative 105 recruitable men. Good. Population change. Oh, that's the change. Holy crap, that's a big change. That's bad. Okay, that's real bad. Uh, clergy is between 25 and 50%, 2% conversion. Uh, the nobility proclaimable edicts. Interesting. So if you have, like, fewer nobility... Oh, no, a lot of these are selected. That's weird. Okay, so no, my nobility. Proclaimable edicts. Uh, seven fewer days to proclaim edicts. So I have to come up... I have to show up to do stuff, apparently. Right? Is that what that means? Plus seven recruits per week. That's um, pretty good, honestly. <laughs> Burgoy's decreases building cost. Uh, these ones would be nice. But, I mean, I guess you have to balance between all these. And then the commoners is growth. If you can get it high enough. Yeah. You need over 25% commoners or you have negative growth. My overview. Um, this isn't really an overview. Oh, no. It's showing me what's already built. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can get sharpshooters. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and start construction on this. The grain pits. Income and growth very important 15 days so let's quit out of that menu damn there's so much going on here now um let's go to our tavern yeah let's um let's buy everyone that comes in here tonight some wine so that the town actually likes me now because they're negative two since i took their town over uh let's hire these hired blades because i lost a couple men in that fight and we're about to have a ton of men right on top of us uh, let's go marketplace. Is there anything by here? We need to sell these. Do we need to sell? Ah, we don't need slaves right now. We'll go start our, um, our money-making business in the new world in a little bit. After we, after we settle down these people over here. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to take care of these guys somehow. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we are going to take care of them. Uh, we might as well stock up, right? Yeah. Arms, small bombs. Use this to cause terror. Damage, one. Um, so it doesn't really do anything. It just probably makes them run away, maybe. Warbow. That's freaking awesome. 99 and 25 piercing damage. Holy shit. And 84 speed. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Bent Warbow. That is a crazy bow. I'm so, that's that's ridiculous. Okay, we don't need three cannonballs though, do we? No, I'm stupid. We only have two cannons. We need more cannon powder. Gunpowder. Yes, exactly what we needed actually. <laughs> and we still get money. Um, we could upgrade our armor. The Crusader Knight armor. That thing, that looks dope. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. The great helm. I still love how the great helm looks, but this one looks pretty good. This helmet, I guess, just regular helmet. <laughs> but man, that great helm. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. This great helm paired with uh, this thick crusader. Oh baby, that's so good. I need that. To I need that in my life. <laughs> We're gonna have to do that at some point. We need a new freaking horse at some point too. I'm tired of wearing someone's stolen horse. <laughs> um, I don't know why we're so... I guess we're shitty with a bow because our bow skill's shitty. Sort of self-answered question. Whatever. Uh, we need to upgrade people. To be honest. We'll do another Landschnech. I don't know how to say that. 
I don't. I mean, uh, whatever. We might as well upgrade these guys to lancers because we're about to be fighting a lot of people, and it's about to get super sketchy, super super sketchy. We need to put mostly, um, mostly non-mounted people in here, uh, like SWATI and heavy infantry, all these hard blades. Uh, definitely the crossbowmen and the archers. Uh, we'll keep the Druian guard for us, since I would like to not get overrun so quickly. Um, definitely drop in the marksmen and stuff in here, though. Why do we have two different types of Druian guard? Really, one costs more because they have gloves on. Seriously? What the hell's going on? Papal pikemen, swordsmen, swadian... Uh, Lenschnech. We'll, we'll give up these guys. Yeah. Because they can't really upgrade farther, apparently. Okay, we have room for like 20 or so more. So that means we dropped like 20. Uh, I don't know if that's enough. We'll drop the Camel Archer. I don't know why I didn't put the Serenid Archer in there. Man, this guy looks pretty intense. With that like full face mask cover. Damn. Okay, I need to go to the Guild Hall. I could have swore that I had already talked to someone in this town about starting a business here. Um, how's trade around here? Shortages of iron, hides, dried meat, grapes, flour, chicken, and pork. And some other commodities. So, don't do anything with iron, hides, meat, wine. Uh, okay, any food, really, apparently. Okay, so let's see... I'd like to buy land. Oh, and oil to. Okay. 9,000 florins. Oh, I don't have enough money. Damn it. Uh, can we go to the castle? Can I take money out already? Hey. I need some money. Hey. Where's my dude? There he is. Who's on the right over there? Who are you? Get out of my court. Freaking Aldeburg is mine. Oh, it's the Guildmaster. Oh! It's like the better view of the Guildmaster. <laughs> My population, the town treasury. Um, how's the balance of power in this town? Oh! Thank you. I have some questions. Where should I start? Should probably have a goal in mind. Uh, for example, building, getting prestige, and so on. Now you should check... Uh, what things prevalently you from accomplishing your goals? What? I don't know if I read that wrong or what. I gave you some information about the town, tax level, population. Uh, if you want to build, bring money from the treasure. Okay. Tell me more about power. The ability you're powerful with edicts, events, and so on. Beware if you make them uh, powerful. Other classes will be kept down at a cost. Uh, well, why would you even give these pesky nobles power? Well, they help with executing your orders, decrees, and so forth. Okay, interesting. Is that my alarm? Damn it. Okay, well, I guess I'll try to read all the rest of this off camera and figure out how the hell to do this. Um, what are commissioners? Uh, oh my gosh, this is so deep. There is so much to doing this. New commissioners, economical affairs, justice. I guess they'll take care of things for me when I don't want to be around. I want to fire commissioners. I want to change the official religion. I'm afraid we lack the favor of the people to do this. Um, what? If you want to change this in your favor, my lord, then we need a uniformity of 85%. Our current relig religious uniformity is 25. Whew. Oh, man. Okay, so our new town is not looking so good, to say the least. Okay, do we dislike the other mod? Do you click on the chest? No, Chancellor? Um, um, I want to place myself, I know. How do I take money out? Yo, dude, do I take money from you, Mr. Guildmaster? You tell me how much money I have. No, that's tax income. We don't have any money in yet, do we? Tax level 75p over p. What does this mean? Oh, yeah, town treasury. Yeah, we do. Okay, where can I take my money out? 
How do I earn money for the town's treasury? Um, how do I use edicts correctly? Damn, this is, this is so complicated. This is more than I thought it would be. Money is earned. Uh, money money is earning by either tax or events. Tax is of course the best source for income. Ta uh, average tax is seventy five florins per person per week. But beware if the religious uniformity uh, is tw only twenty five. If the religious uniformity is only twenty five percent, you will only get twenty five percent of all taxes. Damn. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I guess I'll have to figure out where the hell to get my money from. Huh. Town management? No. No. It's not going to be here. This is just overlaying everything. But damn, is this town just trashed. Like, they left this place horribly. I'm pretty sure they just spread rumor and horror among the people before they left. Or maybe that happened when I attacked. Who knows? But we need to pick up some more people. Apparently, we got some people in here by default. Oh, I thought it said 50. Oh, that was me. Damn it. So we need to pick some more people up in uh, in preparation for the absolute attack that's going to happen probably soon, maybe next time. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We finally got our kingdom back. If you did, leave a like because it really helps out. And until next time, have a nice day, and I'll see you later.